Welcome back everyone. In this video we are going to go over how to customize the theme that you've just installed. So we just went through installing the flexibility theme and before we start making any changes just let me show you this is what it looks like when you first install it on your blog. Um, so you know there's lots of stuff on here more just to give you a preview of what all the different features do and so now what we've got to do is is go through and um, change whatever we need to change to personalize it and make it look like what we want it to look like okay so we're gonna go back to our dashboard here in WordPress come down to appearance once again and we're gonna come down to flexibility 3 theme options. Now, if you didn't install Flexibility 3, uh, you would still come down, you should still see this kind of uh, a menu option for whatever theme you've installed. Alright, so we come in here and there's a whole bunch of tabs in here. Okay, the first thing that I like to do is just come over to the Quick Change settings and what I'm going to do is I want to change the main color of my theme. And it's as simple as just putting in the six-digit code. Now, there is a really cool tool that I was put in touch with that I am going to share with you. And it is called, just let me double check here. Uh, I believe it's called the Instant Eyedropper. Okay, so let me just come over here and we will do a search for this. Yeah, instant eyedropper, identify each mook. So I'm just going to click on that. I'm going to take you over there. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to download instant eyedropper. Okay, and uh, install it on your machine. Uh, it's really small file it's totally free okay and then what's going to happen is it's going to show up in your um, in your toolbar okay so I'm just going to close this I'm going to come back over to my dashboard here and so now I want to find a color now what I've got here is because my blog is about setting up blogs I kinda wanted my color theme to be very similar to the uh, the WordPress logo okay so I've, I've found myself a WordPress logo and now what I'm gonna do is is you just click in your taskbar and I know you probably can't see this you click and hold down your instant eyedropper and you just while you're holding you drag it over top of whatever picture it is you want to see and you see how as soon as you do that it gives you the six digit code for that color okay so all you do is is you find the area that, for the color that you like the best and then you write down that code all right and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna come back into here and you can see, I mean, you can choose your color from here also, but I, I found the instant eyedropper is really great because then you can match it up. So the code that I found that I liked was 3578AD. Okay, right from the WordPress logo. Okay, I'm going to click Change Colors. And then if I come back over here and I click Refresh, it's changed the color of my blog and so now this is going to tie in with the WordPress logo and that's basically what my theme is going to be based on okay now down here theme lightness selector okay so now if you choose lightness so if I say I want to go with dark theme and you click change lightness you come back over here and you see the area on the side here okay you see it got dark okay that's what that does it basically changes it's, it's like a background color 
Okay, so, but I don't want mine to be dark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with light. I'm going to change the lightness. And then I'm going to come back over to my blog. I'm going to refresh. And you see, it, it comes up nice and light. I, I'd rather have it brighter. It's going to be easier to read. And then the theme layout changer. Okay, now what I like to do here is my my favorite because I've used this theme before is to have 960 pixels single sidebar so it's a fairly wide blog but just a single sidebar you don't need lots of sidebars I mean you can go with the dual if you want but I'm just gonna go 960 single sidebar change my layout Now I don't know if this changes anything right off the bat. Yeah, see, it made it a little bit wider on me as soon as I changed that because it was preset to the 880. Okay, so then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go blog sidebar widths is the next thing I'll click on. So you see here your total blog width is set to 960. Post content width is set to 600. Sub sidebar is 335. So I, I'm not going to change anything on here because I like this. I've used this these settings before, and these are nice ratios. The, the 335 gives you enough room in your sidebar so that you can add some pretty decent sized widgets. And, and we'll go over adding widgets in, in, uh, at a later time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here to background and borders. Now your blog background color. Now you see here blog background image diagonal lines. So I don't know if you can see this in the video, but there's there's lines here on the side outside my blog. And I I don't want that there. Okay, you've got a whole bunch of choices for the different options and to just play around with it is really what you're gonna see. But I'm just gonna go no back background image because I, I don't want anything. I just want it to be plain is what I want. Okay, so I'm going to refresh and see now it's just uh, it's just gray. So then the other thing I want to do is I want to change my color to uh, white. Oops. That's not right. It's uh, six F's is white. Save changes. Come back over here. Perfect. Okay, so that's part one of theme customization. So what we'll do now is we will uh, take a break and uh, we will start right back up from here and we will go through the, the rest of the tabs um, that I want to go over uh, in this video. So uh, get uh, get up to this point and we will see you in the next video okay thanks